U.S. Senator Jeff Bingaman, a Democrat from Silver City, was in eastern New Mexico on Wednesday and agreed to a rapid-fire Q&A session. He said the People Magazine-type questions were uncomfortable for him, but he gave them his best shot. We asked him to tell us the first thing that came to mind when he thought about the following. Well, a good friend who I uh, worked with for a very long time there in the Senate, uh, all 26 years that we were both in the Senate, representing New Mexico. I think of him as a, a distinguished scientist and, uh, and fellow Silver City native. Well, I think a Tucumcari is a, a sort of salt of the earth in small town New Mexico. A tea Party, uh, uh, I think it's sort of a new name uh, uh, and a sort of organizing uh, idea for a lot of uh, folks who haven't been that active before in the political process. Well, I don't know. I think uh, time will tell. I, I think in this election cycle, uh, some of the people that they have strongly supported, I think, uh, probably are not the best qualified. Uh, for the offices that they're seeking, and uh, uh, it looks like some of them are going to be elected. Well, I think you can an Air Force base first, and first of all, because I think a lot of my involvement over here at in Clovis in recent years has been in connection with Cannon. It's it's unusual that I don't visit Cannon whenever I come here, and. Uh, so, so that's sort of what I think of. Well, I, I think, uh, uh, you know, I'm sure I don't, I'm not in agreement with a lot of the editorials that, uh, that are run in the paper here, but uh, I think uh, there's a strain of libertarianism that's uh, been present in our country for a very long time, and uh, as long as it's consistently applied, uh, I think it's uh, a useful point of view. Well, I have great memories of being in the Boy Scouts. I, I went all through the Boy Scouts and enjoyed it very much when I was growing up over in Silver City. Well, Harvard was a, a wonderful uh, opportunity, and it's a great, great educational institution. I, I, uh, I wish everyone in the country would have the chance to uh, be exposed to some of the smart people that come together at a, at a university like Harvard. Well, I, uh, we, we have a Facebook uh, page and all of that. Uh, frankly, I'm not personally uh, very involved in it. Uh, I, I don't twit, tweet, uh, and uh, I don't really go on the Facebook page on a regular basis, but we, we have one. Uh, what we do do, which is not quite social networking, is uh, we're, we're doing video casts or podcasts uh, each week about what's going on in the Senate, and we put those on our website, and uh, I think we put them on our Facebook page as well. I think uh, uh, of peanuts and peanut butter, and we, we were just uh, over at Sunland uh, this morning getting a tour. Uh, uh, Jimmy Scherer gave us a, a tour of the, the uh, peanut bottling operation they've got over there and uh, uh, I think of Eastern New Mexico University where we were yesterday as a great uh, educational institution in our state so 
those two things come to mind. Melrose, uh, I haven't spent as much time at. I mean, I go through Melrose on my way to Fort Sumner to here, uh, to Clovis, uh, uh, but uh, I think of the silos primarily that, that are there in Melrose. Don't, I don't watch any TV shows uh, except uh, sometimes uh, the news hour. Well, that's a tough question. I, I bought some, uh, some prints and paintings that I liked uh, on eBay. And uh, uh, that's, that's about the only, only thing I buy on eBay, uh, except for uh, music CDs. I bought some, some good music CDs. Well, frankly, I, I listen to more classical music than I do anything else. Uh, I've been uh, listening to a bunch of Bach cantatas recently. Uh, by this uh, group out of Japan, that uh, the Bach uh, Collegium Japan, I recommend them highly. They do great work.